clap your hands and wave your arms. Play the drums and then rock the guitar. So clap your hands and wave your arms. You can play. construction paper. Mine's going to be yellow and you fold it in half. Then once you have it in half, you fold one corner. Just like this. And then you get the other corner and you fold it in. Just like this. And then there's this bottom part and you get it and you like Pull it up. Mine's not working. It's okay. And then you, just like this, it's gonna look like this. And then you flip it around and you flip this one up. And voila, there's your fire hat. Now you have fire on your head. Today's Bible story is about G up. Uh, Jesus sending the Holy Spirit down, just like a fire. Let's watch. Hey kids, have you ever gone on a long journey? What kinds of things do you think you'd need? A map? Snacks? A horse? This month, I want to tell you about some people who went on journeys all over the world to tell people about Jesus. On each of their journeys, God gave them exactly what they needed in order to go. Are you ready to hear today's story? Okay, let's go! One day, after Jesus went back to heaven, his followers got together to pray and meet. Then they heard a big, loud wind sound. Whoosh! Can you make a sound like wind? Whoosh! Now, wind is pretty normal, right? We feel wind all the time. But do you usually feel the wind when you're inside? No! This wasn't any ordinary wind. Jesus' friends knew something strange was happening because when they looked around at one another, they saw everyone had a little fire floating above their heads. Then, as though the wind and fire were amazing enough, everyone began to speak in all kinds of languages. But even though they were talking in different languages, they could understand one another. The Bible tells us these things happened because everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. God's Spirit! 
before he went to heaven, Jesus told the disciples this would happen. And now it had come true. God had sent the Holy Spirit just like Jesus had promised. The Holy Spirit is a special helper who God sent us. God's Spirit shows us how to love others and to make good choices. When we choose to believe in Jesus, God gives us the Holy Spirit. So let's go! God gave us the Holy Spirit. Anna, do you know why God gave us the Holy Spirit? So that when we're scared, we can be brave. It's so cool knowing that God sent down the Holy Spirit just for me. Aiden, do you want to thank, pray and thank God for giving us the Holy Spirit? Dear God, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. We love you. Amen. We've had so much fun and we can't wait to see you next week. Parents, don't forget to check out the links down below for fun games and activities. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.